Hey, this is a commentary for Not Strangers Anymore. This song meant a ton to us because we've been working on this record for a long time, and uh, this song kind of came together in one night uh, with this synth tone right here. I think, Skip, you had the verse melody and an idea, and then we came up with the synth tone, and then separately we came up with that little hook, and you said, oh, I think I have like a song that'll... I think we've got the song for that. Yeah, it all, it all happened really quickly, and all I had was the first two lines of the song, basically, but that was enough to realize that we should keep pursuing it. For me as a drummer, one thing I didn't want to do is do a four to the floor kick drum and a normal pattern. And so what you have instead is me doing this incongruous pattern where it never actually like lands on the two and four. And that kind of made it okay for me. And it still kind of sounds like a dancey <laughs> beat. I've had some people listen to this song and be like, what is the drum beat doing? And it's actually a pattern, but it's not symmetrical. This song really changed our whole record. It was, it was the anchor for the record. There's a, there's a reason that we have it in the middle of the record. There was an old poem that uh, we read a long time ago in college, and I still remember. It's a two-line poem from Ezra Pound. It's called Standing in the Station of the Metro. It's um, the apparition of these faces in the crowd, petals on a wet black bow. It's a guy standing in a, in a metro station in Paris. He's looking at a beautiful woman's face riding in, a, in the subway that he's not on. It's sort of passing through. And it's uh, dealing with what it's like to deal with beauty that's fleeting. I think the record for us on so many levels, lyrically, is uh, that's the thread that we're talking about. This song is sort of like, you know, got the microscope focused right on it. How do you deal with beauty in general? I, I don't know. Um, everybody's got phones that they're looking at, and uh, but it's real, it's around us all the time, and um, trying to, to touch on that, and uh, it's mysterious, and it, and it moves on, and uh, for us, like the great sort of saying that we could deal with in this setting is to say that, you know, if you experience beauty in, in some way, whether it's like a, a Turner painting, or the beauty of some other person, that you experience at work or wherever, whether, whether or not you, you get a chance to know them full on. When you experience that, you, you're not an alien to that situation anymore. You're, you're not a stranger, and um, it affects who you are and how you, how you live after that. It's kind of where I feel like this song sort of lives. And one side note that I have to say is I think that we got this synth sound and we Tim Shell was actually asleep on the couch in this other room and we got this sound and we're like, oh, we have to wake her up because like, I think we have this new song we have to record. So we literally woke Tim Shell up and she played like basically the hook for this song and, and kind of what made, made this song work for us. Yeah, and that take is the, that's like the take. There was no really recutting anything. It was all, all there and uh, we all got so inspired by the take that we just said let's keep everything we just did and uh and write everything around it so that's how that one worked and um to me it's a it's the whole centerpiece of the record is that one song <laughs>